Hey guys, welcome back to another Swiss Room 1 video. And today we are back in X Plane. Actually, X Plane today. So, yesterday we checked out a really, really, really bad flight simulator on Steam. Disgusting! And today we have quite the opposite. Today we're gonna talk about a rather good flight simulator. In fact, I might even call this the best flight simulator of 2019 or 2020 I mean this thing kind of came out in 2019 what whatever now uh, how should I start two months ago I made a video about this already kind of reviewing it but back then it was only in beta and there were some stability issues but now X Plane 10 mobile global is released and and when I say global I mean global actually X Plane 10 for mobile has been around for quite a few years but now they have finally updated the app so that you can fly globally right now we are on St. Helena Island, which is quite a recent topic if you have been alive for the last few days. And this is the, oh, that was Instagram. Also, you should follow me on Instagram, yes. Now let's just begin the flight in this Paggio Avanti, which is quite a special private aircraft, to say the least. I mean, look at this. So, uh, let's talk about pricing. This thing is, like, I think it might even be free on the App Store, which is very amazing. And when you get the app initially, you only have a Cirrus jet, you know, the Vision jet, and the Cessna 172, and only a few regions to fly in. To get the whole flight simulator experience, to, you know, to fly globally and to fly all aircraft, you have to pay 6 euros monthly, which is still quite good. That's below average when it comes to pricing. You know, the main feature of this flight simulator is basically that it is X Wing 10 crammed onto your iPhone or iPad or, oh, Android, whatever. And, you know, X Plane is quite an advanced flight simulator. And so is this one. You actually have a live cockpit in every single plane. We are dying right now. Uh, most of these cockpits are even controllable. Now, this one is not very controllable, but for example, the 737 is really as realistic as, for example, the default 737, even an X-Plane 11. Uh, let me just demonstrate that. Talking about aircraft, you have quite a wide selection of aircraft, actually. You even have the CRJ-200, A320, 777-200. Let's check out the 737. It's quite my favorite aircraft in this flight simulator. Now, yes, we have True Global in this one. And also, we have quite an advanced weather simulation, as you can see right here. You can pretty much simulate every... everything. And we even have failures in this fight simulator, which is always kind of uh, appreciated. You know, it's not needed, but you, it's nice to have, I would say. So, you need a constant internet connection to play this flight simulator, as obviously, you have to download all the scenery data onto your device, which is happening right now. My internet is actually slow, so it kind of takes a while there. Oh, 130% complete. I'm worried. Now, this sim actually is kind of free of bugs by now. Are you sure about that? And really, the cockpit is fully uh, responsive, as you can see right here. Now, we are at St. Helena Airport, so let's try taking off this plane. Maybe we will not die, which would be great. But when it comes to generally the quality of textures, I'm not too happy with those. I mean, it's all right. It's acceptable. And to be quite honest, I don't think a phone could handle more than this. So yeah, so far we can say, yeah, this is quite a good flight simulator. Even the best, maybe. Good selection of aircraft good pricing, pretty realistic features like responsive cockpits and the graphics are acceptable even though there is some kind of weird blue filter in this sim which kind of reminds me of Infinite Flight which is another flight simulator. About the physics they seem to be uh, solid I guess. I mean obviously they only had to copy the x 10 physics engine into this iOS app. Even though the rudder appears to be very 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 responsive uh, which quite a lot of people have been complaining about so I'm checking that out oh yeah that is a lot of movement now something that I'm missing here is wing flex oh yeah we do have wing flex yeah that is beautiful that is actually beautiful yeah I don't really notice the rudder too much it's not too bad what else do we have oh we can actually display these things it is pretty cool though have I forgot to mention that we have 3d buildings in this sim let's actually spawn into a city and check the city simulation out actually we do have like a quite a nice trailer here you can already see the graphics this looks really great. I think this is in Las Vegas. So actually, I'm spawning into Kongon gas, gas, gas. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it properly, which is an airport that we have uh, reviewed before. It's in Sao Paulo. Let's check out the city, and this looks... Oh, 
What the hell? Actually, in real life, we only have like normal houses, you know, normal resident houses, and not giant buildings all around the city. Oh, this looks crazy. Yeah, we can see the same tower everywhere. It looks nice, though. It's not really realistic. Now, this is the triple seven. Also, fully responsive. Very nice. I like that. I think the only flight simulator that kind of can compete against this one is Aerofly FS 2020, which I reviewed around a month ago or something. No, I think it was actually on Christmas. That was actually quite successful, wasn't it? You know, Aerofly is a bit nicer when it comes to uh, graphics and clouds as well. But the problem is that that one doesn't have global. It only has the West Coast of the US available. And uh, this one has the whole world. So uh, what I can recommend is getting Behooth flight simulators on your phone if your storage and your wallet allows it. I mean, Aerofly is also only like eight bucks. So that's kind of like the advantage about mobile flight simulators is that they tend to be quite cheap. Something else that I'm noticing is that we have gear tilt, which is very nice for buttering landings. Talking about buttering, let's try landing this plane. Let's go ahead, shall we? Yeah, we will die. Oh, we are coming. In. This is going to be a quite an interesting landing. Let's not go around since that is for losers. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was a perfect landing, wasn't it? So yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video. And I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.